Welcome. I'm Greg Madsen. Most of you know me. It's good to see so many familiar faces. Chuck, Kim, George and Jeanette, Jonathan, Holly, Jack, twice in one day. Teresa, Marlon, Jerry, Mayor Brinkley, Mayor Seibold. Uh, so many familiar faces. As most of you know, this is my home in the Allegheny Highlands and I've spent about 10 years here and left to go to Spotsylvania Regional and just came back with Carillion just about seven months ago and what a delight to be back here. <clears throat> And what a delight to have our organization open this facility right here in uh, Clifton Forge. Um, so it really is just a delight to, to see all, all your faces and to, to be here. I consider you all friends and family. Um, I'm not going to speak a long time. Teresa Hammond here, you know, I've been to a lot of ribbon cuttings, many, when I was your chair in 2013. Was that what it was? And we did this a lot. And I never used a script, and she always said to be brief and be bright and be done. So I try to do that. <laughs> Um, but what I want to say about Carillion and this building, and it's beautiful by the way, it's been totally renovated. And where's Gene? Gene, FNS, great job. Thank you. Awesome. Um, so this building has primary care, we'll have some specialty care, but what it really is is a portal of entry to what I would call world class medicine. Carillion is an amazing organization, whether it be cardiovascular care, oncology, uh, you name it. This can be your point of entrance to an amazing healthcare system. I'm so delighted to be able to open it. I was delighted to be the first patient last Monday when we opened up, and I received really great care from Mike Roof, who's here today helping us open up, and we'll have uh, other full time people uh, in the near future. Um, but this is uh, our first point of entry in the Allegheny Highlands. Carillion has served this community for many, many years, but from afar. And so to have a place on site where you can access, uh, right here locally. It's just a real pleasure and delight. So I'm not going to take any more time. I'm going to introduce Kim Rowe. Kim Rowe is our executive over all things primary care for all things Carillion and she has like a thousand employees and she really made this happen. So Kim. Thank you Greg. Uh, well it's great to be here and thank, what a great crowd and I'm so glad that you're with us uh, Greg. You're here from this region. Um, this is our 46th medical home clinic that we're opening today and uh, our footprint goes all the way from Tazewell down to Martinsville, all the way up to Dayton, uh, up the I-81 border. So we are just so pleased to be opening this clinic today. I hope that you'll get a chance to go in and take a tour of the clinic. Um, Carillion Family Medicine is the largest department within Carillion. Uh, we have over 1,100 employees and about 200 uh, physicians and 65 care practitioners. Mike LaRue is helping us out here today. I want to introduce Dr. Ralph Caldroni. He will be our physician here that will be rotating up here and we'll actually have another um, advanced care practitioner uh, MP that will be joining us a little bit later on uh, this fall. So just great things. Carillion was one of the first to do medical homes back in 2007. We're nationally recognized for our work in care coordination. We'll be bringing those care coordination services here how do we optimize population health and really take care of our patients and meet their quality uh, indicators in terms of diabetes care and hypertension and things of that nature. So we're just so pleased to be here today. This has been a long time coming. I know we worked with Dr. Goins when he had the practice here. We took over in, uh, in February and then thanks to Chuck Dyson, our project manager, and Isaac Malenbaum and India Thomas, our regional practice director, we've worked real hard to get the clinic open. So. I know we had a soft opening last week and saw some patients, so we're really ready to get ready and go forward and make this a, a, a great medical home for the residents here in Covington and in Clifton Forge. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to Chuck Carr. He's our CEO of uh, Stonewall Jackson Hospital. He'll talk to you a little bit about the services here. So Chuck? Thank you, Kim. Hey, thanks to everybody coming out. Uh, I think it's been about a year and a half since Kim and I came over here and met Dr. Goins and looked at the practice and decided that this is where we wanted to be. So I appreciate you being here. Uh, you know, we plan to do a lot of things here. Uh, hopefully in the very near future we'll have a uh, clinical rotation from our general surgery group in Lexington here. Uh, down the road, the same thing for orthopedics. And as Greg has said, this gives you a link to Carillion Health Systems. You know, if you're a patient here through the electronic health record, you know, we can link you up for any service you need from Tazewell to Lexington. So uh, I'm not going to speak very long because we've got the chamber here and uh, I know they're anxious to talk to you. But once again, we appreciate you coming out. If there's anything we can do for you in Lexington, we'll be happy to do it. So thanks so much. Well, 
Um, I'm Skylar Fury. I'm the uh, incoming president for the Chamber of Commerce, and I, unlike Gray, have not gotten the speech yet on how to do speeches from Teresa, but it is a pleasure to be here, and uh, we're very excited to have you, and on behalf of the Chamber, welcome to this area as uh, someone with uh, small children and parents that are aging and grandparents, this is certainly a vital and important part for our community and it's very nice to have that here, especially in Clifton Forge. So we're very thankful that you invested here in this area. And if there's ever anything that we can do to support you in the future as a chamber representative, we certainly are always here for you. All you have to do is call. Teresa, our executive director, um, is a hu huge resource for anyone that is trying to get up and going. And I don't think you're going to have any trouble with that. But if there's ever anything we can do, certainly let us know. So. And I would like to take just a second to recognize our local elected officials that are here. We have Mayor Tom Seibold. We also have Mayor Carl Brinkley that is here as well. Yeah, he's over here. Okay. <laughs> and then delegate, I mean, I'm sorry, not delegate, I'm going to promote you here. Board of Supervisors Representative Richard Scholl. And then we have Marla Ackridge, who is the Executive Director for the Economic Development. So, again, thank you guys and welcome to the area. Thank you. Can we answer any questions for you all uh, about the practice here? Anything? Can I have a moment? <laughs> yeah. I'm Dr. Ralph Caldroni. I used to be a lieutenant colonel in the Army, so generally I can project my voice pretty well. If you can't hear me, say so. <laughs> these gray hairs, these white hairs mean I've been around for a long time. And one of the few advantages of getting older in the practice of medicine is that you have experience. Experience tells you to be confident in what you know, but also to know what you don't know and when to ask for help. So we do indeed have access to a very sophisticated network of medical care, and if we can't take care of your problems here, we will make every effort to get you to the right person to help as best we can. Thank you. Let's one, two, three, and cut it! Give Cam and I a look over here with that. Uh, okay, Doug. Thank you. Yay!